So I saw this story on Facebook, and I don't know if it's real. A lot of people tend to make up this kind of stuff for likes and shares. But the thing that fascinates me about these types of stories is that they aren't far removed from reality. Most of us at one point or another have been in these types of situations, or we know someone who has. And regardless of its truth, it's the responses that I find interesting. So a man cheats on his pregnant wife and confesses his wrong to her. And now she no longer wants to have the baby that she was once thrilled about having. She's threatening to terminate the pregnancy for revenge of him cheating. He didn't say whether or not she was going to divorce him, but it's assumed given her plan to abort the child. Now he's freaking out and doesn't know what to do. The story itself isn't that fascinating to me. Again, a lot of them tend to be fake. What drew me to it was the response of the sisterhood, the black women in the comments section. They were co-signing the wife's reaction. They think exterminating a child in the womb is a just reward for infidelity. What? Even though the child obviously had nothing to do with the affair. They were more fixated on the husband cheating than the child dying. In fact, they had no words of condemnation for the mother, but were full of contempt for the husband. Now, I don't think this is the mindset of all or even most black women. I think the majority would never consider harming their child to get back at their cheating husband, even if they were planning to leave. However, I only saw three or four women out of the hundreds that responded who objected to the wife's behavior. And by no means am I absolving the husband in any of this. He was wrong to cheat and foolish for telling his pregnant wife, but eradicating a child for adultery, in my opinion, is absolutely insane. It's the epitome of evil. Whatever happened to children being a blessing? Isn't that what they always tell us whenever a man says he wouldn't marry a woman with a kid? Yet here they are advocating abortion so a woman can leave and have a fresh start with someone else. All of a sudden, they're talking as if being a single mother is a bad thing. Now a detractor will say, but aren't you men contradicting yourself? You always say you don't want a woman with kids. Yes, that's true, but a woman terminating her child out of revenge is far worse than her being a single mom. The two aren't even comparable. Speaking for myself, I'd rather be a stepdad than deal with a woman who would do something like this. Because who's to say she won't do the same to my child when she gets angry? What man in his right mind would want to be with a woman who would hold a kid hostage? That's not a wife. That's a terrorist. And why is adoption not an option to any of these women in the comment section? If it's really about not wanting to be tied down with a baby and having a fresh start with someone else, why not give the child away to a loving family or surrender custodial rights to the dad? Why is death the only solution? Looking at these women's responses reminds me of something I've long believed. You should consider a woman's social circle before taking her as a wife. Be mindful of the women she calls friend and the female family members she hangs around because those women will be the women she confides in or seeks out for advice when she's mad or frustrated with you. If she comes from a strong nuclear circle where her mom, grandma, sisters, aunties, and friends are all married or in a strong committed relationship and she has a strong relationship with her father and he's a stand-up dude, she comes from good stock and will likely make for an ideal wife. But if there are no men in her family and every woman she knows is or associates with is single, look out. You're dealing with a woman in a coven. Women who come from those type of social structures are a red flag because this is the kind of advice regarding men they're exposed to on a regular basis. A lot of you black men know what I'm talking about because a lot of us were born in these types of family structures. You have these types of women in your family and you've seen the kind of advice they give to the younger women in the family. Tell me if any of this sounds familiar. A female family member starts to lose weight. She goes from a dress size 18 to a 12. And the big auntie Shirley comes over and says, Ooh, girl, you losing all this weight. Are you okay? You look skinny. Please don't tell me you doing this for a man. Because the man God has for you is going to love you regardless of your size. Or how about this one? Ooh, girl, when you going to cut that hair? It's getting too long. Ain't you tired of dealing with all that? Don't that take a lot of time to take care of? That's why I keep mine short. It's just hair, it'll grow back. Ain't nothing wrong with a wig or a weave if you want it to be longer. Don't be worried about what these dusties be saying. And don't let one of them get married and decide to cater to her husband in front of the rest of them, like fixing him a plate at the family function. Every single broad in the family will have a fit. Uh-uh, don't you be fixing his plate. That's a grown man. He can fix his own plate. You gonna make him lazy. 
The women you see here in this comment section are the type of women I'm referring to. They routinely encourage other women to do the opposite of what's right. To quote what someone close to me once said, women love encouraging other women to ruin their lives. Again, I'm not absolving the husband for what he's done. The marriage is likely over and I can understand why, but encouraging a woman to terminate her baby is unfathomable to me. And it bothers me that we've gone so far in the wrong direction that people can no longer recognize right from wrong. Now, if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't like this video, please leave a dislike and leave a comment in the comment section and share it with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you will get alerts every time I upload new content. This is the Layman's Journal. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out. Uh-uh. Don't you be fixing his place.